had a young man, the recent one was in Toronto, who went on a rampage because basically they weren't getting laid. Uh, these, no, really, they call themselves incels. Have anybody heard of this? Incel? I, oh, we got a couple here. Great. Um, <laughs> well, uh, incel stands for involuntarily celibate. Uh, and we, I believe the ancients called them creeps. Uh, but, I, I mean, there were times in my life I was involuntarily... So I kept my mouth shut about it. Not these guys. They, like, talk about it. It's like they have a social network. They, it's a movement. They're kind of proud of it. And, and we got a hold of... They're putting out a new magazine called Incel. Would you like to see... Uh, there's Stephen Miller on the cover. And uh, here are some of the articles. Uh, five new grips that'll spice up your love life. Thirty wet dream positions that will drive yourself wild. <laughs> Getting her to say those three little words. Who is this? <laughs> New York City's hottest places to lurk. <laughs> Playing it cool, slick ways to smell the seat where a lady was just sitting. <laughs> yeah, see, you get him eventually, General. Five gluten-free foods you should be having sex with. <laughs> the incel ethicist is stalking more than one woman at a time, cheating. <laughs> Going southpaw, how masturbating with your non-dominant hand can feel like it's someone else. <laughs> how to break up with a girl who has no idea she was dating you. And the Statue of Liberty, one incel's amazing visit inside a woman. 